The Nintendo Direct gave me a reason to dust off my old Switch. Don't get me wrong, I love my Nintendo Switch. It's just been a while since I bought a game on it. And with all of these announcements that just came from the Direct earlier today, I do recommend watching the whole Nintendo presentation only because I think they did such a great job. And there are a lot of announcements for old and new fans. The very first game that was announced at the Nintendo Direct is Mario and Luigi Brothership. Off rip, the first thing that you're going to see is the new look. Both of the brothers are looking vastly different and also kind of fresh. I like this animation style. It's new, but it also gives a familiar feel from what we have expected from previous titles on different uh, hardware. I also think it's worth noting that it's been nine years since we've seen these two together. Granted, we've had Mario Wonder come out, and we've also had iterations of Luigi's Mansion, and also Luigi's Mansion 2 HD being announced at the Direct as well. Lots of Mario and Luigi content to dive into, but Mario and Luigi Brothership, I believe, is going to be the first Mario game I buy since Odyssey. Number two for me was the new Donkey Kong Country HD version. Not really much to say here outside of what was already said with Mario. This is another long-standing franchise. I'm still playing the SNES version of DK Country and to see an HD version ported over to Switch, I will absolutely be copying because let's be real, real here, Donkey Kong is awesome. Not really a, a big Zelda guy. But the OG collection of A Link to the Past and Four Swords is releasing on the Switch Online collection along with Metroid, Turok, and Perfect Dark on June 18th. Might be time for me to check these franchises out because the Switch collection seems to be growing more and more with each announcement. There's also been a JRPG bonanza with the return or ports of Ace Attorney uh, what I'm most looking forward to right now is the Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D. <laughs> so many, so many syllables, so many. I, I don't even know what to say at this point, but it's on my list of franchises uh, to dive into. This is one of those legacy franchises that has been with gamers for so long. And for me, I personally haven't tried the Dragon Quest series. But with the release of a new HD 2D port, I think it's time for me to check this out as well. Millennials rejoice! Marvel is free. And if you're not aware, the Marvel Capcom collection is finally, finally being released to all platforms, not just the Nintendo Switch. Uh, currently, I didn't really know how to react to this only because my jaw was absolutely on the floor but we know what they were doing when they were selecting the music menus and everything right especially when you heard the infamous chorus from the NBC2 uh venue selection let's be real here the most anticipated game of the direct is the new hello kitty island game there are so many games released i cannot recommend checking this direct out enough you really think I'm not being serious? Uh, <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> In other news, EA executives earned 60 million in 2024 despite layoffs and office closures. An article written by Chris Kerr on GameDeveloper.com with the main headline stating CEO Andrew Wilson received almost half of that total, 25.6 million dollars to be exact are we even surprised at this point at how much executives are making with these big game studios like, let's be real here uh, we all know across the industry there's just a huge trend of massive layoffs and cuts and that impacts us as consumers because we are now no longer getting games that we've been anticipated for, cancelled games, as well as overall restructuring of studios and companies that we have grown to adore and also be very loyal to. 
let's not forget here that these EA executives are not hired to bring us good games. They are hired to make EA money. And in this case, I guess making the money is considered closing a shitload of studios and laying off a ton of fucking people. I mean, look, look, look. Overall here, EA has put out some decent games outside of something like EAFC, which was a big component to uh, these bonuses, right? Uh, Andrew Wilson, the CEO who received 25.6 mil, was behind the separation of EA Sports and EA Entertainment, which is how we got EAFC 24, aka FIFA 24. Does this justify millions of dollars in bonuses? for these executives to be earning off of the backs of developers and studios that were not that are no longer around so let me know what you guys think there okay lastly we all know elden ring shadow of the earth tree is releasing june 21st and the reviews are officially out are we even surprised at how well this dlc is reviewing dlc the way creators are approaching this game, it's almost like a new game. When was the last time you saw a flurry of streamers and creators prepare for a DLC? I honestly can't think of anything unless it's like a MMO, you know what I mean? I think this just goes to show how monumentally insane this game is. I personally, I'm still getting through the game itself, you know, but you know, don't judge me on that. I'll get there eventually. It is reported that this final that this is the final piece of Elden Ring content, so we can't expect any more updates on that front uh, from the creator himself, Miyazaki. On top of that, though, I think it's really interesting that Miyazaki stated that he is still working on his perfect fantasy game. Elden Ring is not his perfect fantasy game. In this article, he also stated that he wishes somebody else would make this game. But that he himself can enjoy it to the fullest extent. Talk about a true gamer and creator, right? Uh, I also think it's worth noting that uh, in regards to the massive trend of layoffs and cuts, one of the executives from From Software had commented on this, and he said, "As and this is a short quote, as long as I'm here, that will not be happening at From Software." <laughs> From Software is really out here just making the most difficult and also innovative games and also making sure people have their jobs intact. What more can we say about a game that is defining the current generation? Alright, and that's it for the weekly me. Thanks again for tuning in. Uh, on my end, I'm currently playing a lot of Valorant on console. Feel free to check out a video of our first impressions. And... Long story short, this game is fun, but it is difficult. <laughs> it is not an easy game, but it is fun. And uh, outside of that, ton of other games that I'm going into in the backlog. Isn't it crazy? I've created myself a retro backlog because Steam Deck things, you know what I mean? But yeah, let me know what you guys think about the Nintendo Direct, uh, every, all the games that went on. And also the games that you're looking forward to uh, from the director himself. Let me know what you guys think about executives earning way too much money. And are you getting into Elden Ring later? Let me know. Let me know. Thanks again. And I'll see you when I see you. Peace.